and it doesn't require power. So when I tap this, it better collect it all. Except the stuff that lands on top of it, obviously. Or the stuff that falls off the edge. Apparently it doesn't. But, oh well. It did collect a bunch, so I guess that's fair. What's going on, monkey dudes and monkey cats? Hell for gaming here. What's going on, monkey dudes and monkey cats? Hell for gaming here. Back at it again with some more Sky Factory 4. Uh, today, uh, there's a few things I want to make. Ooh, a chicken. I saw a chicken. Chicken. A few things I want to make. And, uh, first, I just want to say, I think the system's a bit flawed. I didn't think about it, but when I put stuff in here, I found a bunch of stuff in my other chests, and that's not good. It's not good. So, yeah, I mean, I've got to do something about that. First, let's go ahead and do this, though. You just melt a bunch of iron down. Um, because today I want to finish off the first page here, which I only have three things to do. Super easy, but I want to go ahead and make a couple hogs, resource hogs, that sound good. Also, sorry for the background noise at the moment. Uh, there's something, uh, as a noob, I forgot to take care of, so give me just a sec. Much better. Now, let us begin. First and foremost, I need to make this. I'm gonna need some iron, though, so... Let's start off with that. Wait on this to smelt some iron. Uh, I'm going to need a few iron ingots. Actually, you know what? It's got a lot to smelt, so what I want to do is I'm actually gonna grab or he gets from this. I'm just gonna have to remember to put four back. All I need, that all I need to make a redstone clock. Yeah, I do need three stone though. Um. Okay. Uh. Well, I guess what I can do is destroy this and then make this. I don't have the stone necessary right now. Let's smelt some stone then. Five will make that eight. Five will make six. So six here, five here. There. That's a six. You know what? Here. There. One. Three. Okay. Let's make this best I can because it's gonna put the ingredients back in without permission and I don't want to do that so there because today there's a few things I'd like to make so first of all let's take this lever here set these ticks down like dramatically no like like one three tick three tick um what's this direction here uh, um, this direction is south, so uh, let's go ahead and turn off all these. That's going the right direction. All right, cool. We'll just leave that to run and collect all this because I need to set up the thing soon. It's important that I set it up. The uh, filing cabinets. Yeah, without them, all of this stuff is just going to go in here arbitrarily, which is really, really bad. I found... Uh, like just random slabs and stuff throughout the other chests. I, I want them to fill up with other things though. But for that, I'm going to need a bunch of paper and a load of iron. So, yeah, there's that. Um, so one, two. I need to put the four ingots back in there before I forget. So, there. I just stuck. 32 in, in here with 8 makes it uh, 60, 72 so that should be 8 blocks which isn't enough but let's see they need iron bars okay let's see let's go to filing cabinets filing cabinets let's look at them they need 8 bars around a chest uh, 6 ingots makes 2 so um, 6 so hold on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So 20 divided by 2 is 10 times 6 is 60. So 60 ingots. So, so technically just, yeah, I'm actually going to make enough. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
Uh, 72, after all. The 72 ingots, I should be able to make just enough to filing cabinets for this. Hmm, not bad at all. Not bad at all. So, yeah. It's just I'm going to have to wait on this to smelt. So, while that's smelting, let's go ahead and at least get this one out of the way. I have that. What do you need? Um, do I have an... Did I ever make? I made an obsidian bucket, so it's an obsidian bucket. Before I look at filing cabinets, uh, I need to look at pig. I'd like to make some resource pigs this episode, but first I need the bucket of cobble mud, which is uh, cobblestone. There's a cobblestone of dirt and an aluminium bucket. So a cobblestone. Or uh, not aluminium bucket, but a bucket nevertheless. I need some dirt though. Mm, I'm gonna make some dirt. Make two dirt for now. You know what? Twelve. Let's let's make a few dirt. There. Let's make that many dirt, and then that's f uh, what is that? Four dirt. So four dirt, so 16 leaves, I think. Something like that. It's four dirt. I need some for, uh, for what I'm about to do anyway, but. Let's close, at least you can't wash these leaves. And last one. Alright. Going to need some dirt for this. Some dirt for the other one. Dirt for the other one. And dirt for the other one. And then I need to make a place for them to lie. Which means I need a bunch more fences. But first, let's go ahead and make the buckets. Is it a bucket of water? It has to be a bucket of water. Okay, so I th let's just try it this way. Two, three. That's three buckets, so bucket, dirt, cobble. This? It used one bucket. Alright, made cobblestone. Um, I'd like to make iron gold? Iron and gold? Not iron bars. Why would you need iron bars? Like... There's a tr iron bar truffle. Oh, let me look at this. Iron bar truffle. <laughs> Make the iron. Uh, speaking of which, I actually have to pulverize an iron. So I'm going to go do that now. For one of these. Because I would like an iron bucket. Um, wait. Oh. Oh. Um. Ooh, that was close. I forgot you can't pulverize the ingots like this. It has to be the powders. Ooh. Glad I caught that on time before I smelted them all. I'm gonna have to go. Let's put one in here. Oh, you know what? Let's put the iron ingot back in there. Because I'm going to have to use this one in the bucket. So let's go ahead and make that. Bucket. Dirt, iron, I wanted gold, so I'm going to have to make gold, but let's just go ahead and pour some more bars and sleep. But yeah, I'm going to have to grow some pigs and let them lay some truffles. I'm going to have to have like a platform per pig or something. I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be that big, but... Wouldn't the bigger be better? I actually don't know how resource hogs work because I've never actually messed with them. So, yeah, there's that. It, it does help that I haven't messed with them. I really need to upgrade all of these. <sighs> I need so many, so many papers. But this grows up to build height. So if I just go, like, oh, man. I'm going to need... What am I going to need? Uh, item collectors don't use power. What do you need for an item collector? I, 
That's not that expensive. I mean, that's going to cost some iron, but that actually might be worth it for this. Um, any cobblestone, a redstone, and I have a couple redstone. We have to grab a couple more redstone. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to have to make some more iron then. Uh, I'll be back. Moment here. All right. Well, I've made some extra iron. Let's just grab uh, three bars for now. I'll put whatever's left back. And let's make two droppers. Droppers. Do I have any? Yeah. No, I don't. Um, one, two, four. Five. Find that. Whatever. One, two, three. I just needed three. Yeah. So. Oh, well, no. I need to make uh, hoppers first. That's not it. Um, there we go. So, three of these one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. Three hoppers. And boom. Got it. Item collector has been achieved. The thing is, I'm going to need this. Uh, do I have? I have some cobble, so let's place it like. Eh. Um. This is the most newbiest way of doing this, but I need to make sure I get it high enough. Oop. 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 All right. Let's save preview, and then let's make it as wide as possible. I need to make sure it covers the tops of all of these things. I might need to move it down. How about I move it down a couple blocks? Oh, oh, that was very close. We down two blocks. Right here. Maybe here will work. Let's preview it at a, nine, a 19 by 19. How tall do you get? Above everything. Awesome. Good enough. So let's go ahead and destroy all this. There. there go. And turn off the preview. And it doesn't require power, so when I tap this, it better collect it all. Except the stuff that lands on top of it, obviously. Or the stuff that falls off the edge. Apparently it doesn't. But, oh well. It did collect a bunch, so I guess that's fair. It didn't collect what was on top of it, and that really sucks. <laughs> oh. I don't see how stuff could land on top of it. And it not collect it. Like, I just don't get it. And I hate that stuff goes off the edge, because that's really inefficient, but hey, whatever. I collected a bunch of stacks of of uh, sugar cane there, so that's very good. Let's go back over here. Some iron back in here. I need, like I said, I need 60 iron to make the filing cabinets for this. Which, since that's such a long, arduous process, I might not do the entire thing on cam. I just show you guys me doing like one at a time. Now here's the thing. A lot of people don't do this. Okay. I'm going to say this now. A lot of people don't do this. But I am the kind of person who will put each and every thing, um, tree, with its respective oak planks and stuff. So this thing drops oak planks. So does this one. A lot of people will just say, okay, oak planks only in one, not in all of them. I will have oak planks in all of them. So it is what it is, but it's five, uh, six, so 54, 64, 68. I have 68. I have 68. Yeah, that's actually accurate. I have 68 of this. So there. That's enough to make it. So just to show you guys the standard for it, let's destroy that, let all the stuff fall. Let it pick up what it can pick up, pick up everything that fell behind it, and throw it in there. There's a lot of those. So, basically what I do is I, I mean, I, I hate to waste chests, but I'm going to need to. I'm going to have double the chests in the long run. So, let's start off with making 
a single one. So basically you go like this, let's turn all of this into ingots and let's turn these ingots into bars. Bars make a single chest because that's all you need surrounded by this. Boom. I have a filing cabinet. Now what you can do is like this, let's make some paper. You need paper. Paper is very important. So paper makes eight. As you can see, I have eight files. Now what I can do is I can grab one dirt resin. It doesn't matter what order I put it in, but there's an OCD to me, so I might have to put it in that order anyway. One uh, dirt acorn, some dirt leaves, dang it, dirt leaves, dirt saplings, oak logs, sticks, and a dirt. And then what I'll do is place this here. One. Two, three, four, five, seven. See, that's seven files. Just place them in here uh, in whatever order. Uh, let's go with oak wood, sticks, dirt goes last, acorn, resin, sapling leaves. Yeah. Okay. So wood, sticks, sapling, leaves, resin, acorn, dirt. Then, um, I don't know why I did it that way. Let's just take all of this out of here. All of this out of here. And all of this out of here. Destroy it before it can grow. Now, these actually retain all of the stuff they have in them when destroyed. So destroy it and place it down here. But actually, you know what? Let's move it over. Move it over. It gives me a little more walking space. Right here. Um, now I just replace this. Okay. I'm going to have to replace them. That's fine. But I don't have to blacklist cobblestone anymore on these because these don't have cobblestone in them to begin with. In fact, I can actually put a filing cabinet down to contain just cobblestone. I have 68. That's enough to make uh, a couple extra. So that is step one. Now I have to do this on all of them. So I think I'm just going to do it off cam because I think that would be easier. But as you can see, this will grow. And as this grows, it actually does output into the filing cabinet all of its contents, which when connected back up, as you can see, there's dirt resin in here. So let's just say I connect it back up immediately. This, now I want to look in here and say dirt, dirt. That's, you're not helping my case, sir. Sir. Oh, wait, what? Dirt? Okay, it just took a little bit. Okay, so it's a little slow. <laughs> Got it, got it. It just takes some time to connect. Anyway, I'll be back after I have completed something I forgot to mention about these files. I'm on the second one right now, so it's not like I've uh, this has been much time between. If you actually destroy a chest, or, I mean, if you, anything drops on the ground, it will automatically pick it up. So, as you can see, that has actually picked it up. Spectacularly. So, there we go. Uh, I'm deciding to put the cobblestone in the petrified chest. It, it makes sense, but I would like a file with cobblestone in it. So yeah, I'm just going to do that. Yeah. There we go. Cobblestone. Oh, that one's connected. Let's continue. And with that final one I have finished it is complete. They are all connected. Now I was destroying and recreating these because I didn't realize what was going on. But as soon as you place it down, it's not storage until you put folders in it. So it doesn't read it as storage until folders are put in it. But now now that is complete i can finally reconnect it to the network ta-da now you look in here we have over ten thousand wood lots awesome so when i put this in here it should not go in here right right i actually take all this wood now and just throw it in here as i want ah amazing 
Amazing. I don't know if there's anything in here that's over there. Oak saplings. Those aren't apple saplings. I don't think there is anything over here that would... I do need to start growing mineral. Mineral's important. Um, oh, I have the materials. I can set it up. Uh, I'll do that later. I'll do that later. Uh, but I do think that might be the end for this. It took me a long time to record this part. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up as a mineral sapling area, and I'm going to put a storage cable on it. But as you can see, they are all up and running, and it is here. And if you keep an eye on it, you can see that they are moving as they are actually going up. I like to hit E. That was one of the problems with this, is I like to hit E to escape. That's, that's how I usually escape menus, not hitting escape. So I'm going to have to deal with it. But they're all working. You can see they are all working fine. Uh, it actually takes a lot of work to do that. Oh, I got this in here. I can place this in here. Nice. And I can turn this off, which this is actually glitched. If I turn it off and I go, as you can see, that now has down on it. If I turn it back on, sometimes it glitches, sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to click this to destroy it. Be sad that a lot of it's going off into the void. And then I'm going to come collect these that have fallen away from it. And I'm going to place them in here. I have 53 leftover file folders. That's perfectly fine. I can use them. Um, because I will need more trees in the future. And I have enough R bars to make three more. And enough chests to make them too. So yeah, we're set. But now actually, I can actually go ahead and empty this. Uh, I can go ahead and... Wait, wait, wait. This is its priority? Its priority is negative one for co Ah. Yeah, now that I think about it, its priority is negative one for cobblestone. Let me put it as priority one for cobblestone, then. Because I now have a cobblestone folder. So I can take out all the cobblestone from in here. Throw it in here. And all the cobblestone from in here. Okay. And the final one. Cobblestone. Keep a stack on me at all times. And uh, 3.4k cobblestone in there. Ta-da! It works. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was an important setup. That is very important setup. It, it, at the very beginning, before you get an ME system, that is one of the most important setups. Having said that, ME system storage buses work with real filing cabinets, which is freaking fantastic. How about this is output only? This is just output only cobblestone. Because why not? Anyway, thanks everybody for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe for future content. Ding the notification bell. Sorry that I did not finish this, but... I will finish this in the next episode, as well as hopefully create a couple more things. So thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you guys again later. Peace out, everybody.